Hello everyone, I'm author John A. Douglas. I'm the author of The Black Crown, and today I wanna to talk about Brandon Sanderson basically breaking the internet. If you don't know who Brandon Sanderson is, he's probably one of the most prolific fantasy writers out there right now. Now, fair warning, I haven't read any of his books, and it's not out of um, uh, anything malicious on my part. It's just I haven't gotten around to uh, digesting his work yet, but it's definitely he's definitely on my radar, and uh, his books are going to be on in and up on my shelf before too long, that's for sure. Uh, he's young. He's probably best known for his uh, Stormlight Archive and Mistborn series, all part of his interconnected universe called the Cosmere. He also had a hand in helping finish the Wheel of Time after Robert Jordan died, which is a pretty big feather in your cap as far as fantasy authors go. He happens to have a YouTube channel where he gives very good, practical advice on writing fantasy and science fiction and writing in general. He also happens to write a lot. I think he's bragged before that he can write upwards of 10,000 words a day, which is insane for me to think. If you ever grab one of his random videos on his YouTube channel, usually you'll find him doing this. Now you won't find a bigger writer flex than sitting doing a hour-long Q&A session on YouTube for your fans, furiously autographing piles upon piles of your own books, while sitting in a warehouse full of your own books. Do you see what I mean with this guy? Now if that wasn't a big enough flex on the rest of us trying to get our work out there, he just went and dropped a nuclear bomb on both the new pub and the old pub industries. He wasn't content to just sit there and write his regular gigantic uh, fantasy novels. No, he had to come in and plop down four novels he wrote basically in his free time, free of his publisher, and say, I'm going to put it on Kickstarter, and if you want it, you want it. And his fan base responded almost exactly like Critical Role's fan base responded when they put the idea of an animated show on Kickstarter and funded it to the tune of several million dollars. As of the time of this recording, his Kickstarter is almost at $17 million for four self-published fantasy novels that he's going to distribute quarterly throughout the upcoming year. He just comes out here and flexes on the rest of us authors, saying, here, here's four novels I wrote in my free time. We're just going to self-publish them and deliver them to you. I hope to be able to match that kind of pace myself one day. I think personally think he's gunning for Walter B. Gibson's uh, world record of 13 million words written in his lifetime. Walter B. Gibson, if you don't know, was the creator and uh, primary writer of The Shadow. He wrote the, the Shadow's books, radio plays, short novels... Uh, the man holds the world record for most words written about a single continuous character. And I think uh, if anyone's going to beat that particular record, it would be Brandon Sanderson. And you just got to know that his publisher, Tor Books, is sweating right now. Seeing this man come out of the gate and get 16 to $17 million dollars just to self-publish some of his scrap novels he wrote on the side. If you haven't been paying attention to the traditional publishing landscape, it has been changing in the last few years. It has very much gone every bit as woke as Hollywood, the comic industry, and the TV industry has. And their sales are reflecting a lot of those, uh, a lot of those poor selling trends. Their sales speak for themselves. These people couldn't move uh, books if you gave them a U-Haul truck. And I credit independent authors like uh, David Stewart, John De La Rose, and David J. West, and Brian Nehmeyer for uh, helping show me that uh, traditional publishing as it is right now is kind of a fish dead on a pier in the middle of summer. It's not moving. It's not going anywhere, and it's only stinking and that the way to go is going to be independent publishing and independent authors. Both now, mind you, I so highly support uh, traditionally published authors if they're producing something that's good and something that's not uh, pandering and uh, doing all it can just to tick boxes. Uh, I fully support independent authors creating what they want, pandering to their audience how they want. But more than anything, I prefer uh, I love having indie authors succeed and watching their work get out there and uh, rise above in spite of 
that all the challenges that come with independent publishing. Now, Brandon Sanderson, he's got his own fan base uh, by traditional publishing, but you got to know this was a this has to be a wake up call for Tor Books, his publisher, because essentially he just showed he doesn't need them, and he is one of their biggest earners. I think in the future, this is not just this is turning a lot of heads right now for a lot of really good reasons, and it's going to make a lot of people uh, pay attention to something they might not have paid attention to before. So if you're watching this, go out there, find an independent author, toss them a few bucks, download their book, give it a nice review. I've got a whole collection up here of traditional and independent authors that I support fully 100%. And you'll see some of that content coming in the future. But for now, I'm John A. Douglas. Do me a favor, like, subscribe, leave a comment everywhere you can find me. And for now, don't forget boys and girls to write it every day.